Hi, my name is Admin Frank, and today I would like to present you the Dell Optiplex GX150. Let's get right in. On the back, we've got an LTP port and two serial ports, two PS2 connectors, Ethernet, two USB 1.1s, VGA, audio out, audio in, microphone, a half height AGP slot, two PCI slots available via riser card, and DCN. Now to the front, accessible via opening the front latch, reveals two USB 1.1s, audio connector which will deactivate the internal audio, the power button and HDD usage LED, a CD-ROM drive and the floppy disk drive and the Windows and Intel stick. Now since this is a desktop computer I'm gonna open up and reveal the inside of the GX150. To be honest, I find that the old Dell K system was great. Okay, let's start off at the lower unit. We've got the Pentium 3 Socket 370, the motherboard connector, the battery, and the SD RAM RAM. We've got a hard disk drive over here, and a CD drum drive, floppy disk, and internal speaker, custom made. The AGP graphics card, um, the PCI riser card, including the power module. The PCI slot shown here cannot be used on the small desktop model, but it comes in use on the small form factor and mini tower. So let's start it up. I must admit, for a computer of its time, it is very quiet and it doesn't generate too much heat. The Dell Optiplex GX150 was designed for Windows 2000, but it easily runs with Windows XP. The highest usable operating system is Windows Vista. This however requires you to upgrade your SD RAM to 512 MB and provide you have a Pentium 3 at 1 GHz. Some Dell GX150s had an integrated speaker, some did not. I have customly built mine with an integrated speaker. Even so, the hardware is a little outaged, it is still pretty good working for the future. The best processor the GX150 can have is a Pentium 3 Dualatine at 1.4 GHz. Even for its special hardware, it can run programs like Adobe Photoshop CS2, Office 2003, Steam, and Mozilla Firefox up to version 48.2. The highest amount of RAM is always 512 megabytes. This can be done either by two 256 banks at 16 megabytes per chip, one bank with 512 megabytes with 32 megabytes per chip. But many ask if more is possible. Five hundred and twelve at bank one and two hundred and fifty six at bank two. Rule number one if Dell lights make a stupid pattern, something isn't right. Rule number two if the speaker starts to make sounds, something else isn't right. Rule number three if the computer keeps on rebooting, something must be wrong. So, here you go, video proof that more than 512 megabytes isn't possible. But if you've got one 512 SD RAM module, your GX150 will accept it.